Hi everyone, I hope we're all doing amazing. Welcome back to my channel. I'm your favorite YouTuber. Today, we're gonna be talking about how to change your past by using revision. But before we get into it, you are more than welcome to subscribe. On this channel, I talk about all things Law of Assumption. So if that sounds good to you, I would love to have you here. You're also more than welcome to join my members only YouTube program. You'll be getting four exclusive videos per month where I'll be going in on explosive motivational rants, longer and more detailed law of assumption chats, answering your very specific questions in depth, and including my own personal law of assumption success stories that are way too juicy to be posted on here. Oh, and I'm also offering collective coaching, which I'm really excited about. It would literally be a no brainer to join. So the link will be in the description box down below. Listen, the only thing that holds power is the present moment. The only time the past has power is when you bring the past and put it into your present right now moment. The only place that the past lives is in our brain. So you have a choice to get rid of the past memories and replace them with memories that you want instead. You can completely change your past to the past that you want. This is what the law of assumption community likes to call revision. And it is a very powerful tool to manifest what you want right now. So what is revision? Revision is a technique that lets you change your past in order to get the desired reality that you want right now. Your assumptions create your reality. So you can assume whatever you want about the past in order to create your now moment. By changing the past, you will also be changing the present and the future. For example, if you've been single your entire life and your limiting belief is that you're not able to get an SP because your entire life you've been single. You can actually go back and revise that you've had multiple boyfriends, you were in healthy, happy, committed relationships, and you were the one that actually broke it off with all of them. By doing that, it's really easy to attract any SP that you want into your reality. So how does it work? It works by you picking the specific past experience that you have had and changing it completely to what it is that you want right now. It works by changing your assumptions about a particular experience from the past. This can be done by just deciding right now that it didn't happen that way. It actually happened in the way that I want. It is a snap decision, a snap, crack and pop. That's it. We have what it is that we want. That thing that happened in the past did not happen. Actually, it happened this way instead. That's it. Done. I want to explain the revision method by a Tumblr post that I saw actually a year ago and it has stuck in my brain ever since. So I really do want to credit this Tumblr user. Shout out to the Dream Girl Journal for this one. This was an absolute banger. Okay, so this is called the kitty explanation. This is kitty. Kitty is a fairly happy cat, but something is bothering her these days. A couple of weeks ago, Kitty went to this little get together with her friends and she decided to eat some cereal. However, she soon discovered how bad of an idea that was. Cereal was not made for cats. Therefore, as she was not feeling good, she threw up in front of everybody. And now all her friends keep bringing that up and making fun of her for it. Only the thought of it makes Kitty sad. She wishes everybody would forget about that accident. However, she soon remembers that somewhere she read about revision. Revision is, in simple words, manifestation for the past. If Kitty starts acting and thinking like the serial accident never happened, everybody will erase it from their memory as well. Kitty takes some moments for herself to affirm, or we're just deciding, or we're scripting, or we're using sats, or we are visualizing. That the serial accident never happened, then after a few moments of affirming slash whatever you want, she just lives her day, drinks her juice, basically she just forgets about it. And soon enough, at another friend get together, nobody brought up the serial accident. It's really erased from her friend's memory. Kitty couldn't be happier and she saved herself from a lifetime of embarrassment. So how do we actually use revision? Simply identify the memory experience situation that you want to revise. You can identify it in your mind or you can write it down. And then we just decide that that thing never happened and actually it happened this way. You don't have to go back and reimagine the past. You can just decide right now 
that that never happened and actually it happened this way. To help you further in this, you can write down or affirm or visualize or go into SATs in the assumption of how it actually went down. With the assumption in your mind that this is actually what happened in the past and this is the actual experience that happened. Anytime that the past that never actually happened, by the way, pops up into your mind, you can just affirm that never happened. I literally don't know what you're talking about. That's it, it's as simple as that. The thing is, is revision is so incredibly easy because you don't need to persist in anything. You can just decide that that is how it happened and that's it, period. End of chapter, book closed. You're not waiting for anything to come to you. You have just assumed that that is what happened in the past. We're setting it aside, we're moving on, that's it. I love this example that Manifest at Finesse provides. You should go check her YouTube out. She basically said that if you are revising World War Three to never happen, let's say that it happened, but you have just revised successfully that it never happened. You're not gonna go back to libraries and check the books to see if World War III has happened or not. You're not checking Google or YouTube or social media or whatever to see if World War III has happened or not. You already know that it hasn't happened. In conclusion, revision is a very powerful tool in order for you to manifest anything that you want right now or to revise the past unwanted circumstances that keep haunting your present. By using this technique, you can create a new reality that is more aligned to your goals and desires. Remember, you don't need to keep persisting in this. All it takes is a one split second decision that it actually didn't happen that way. And that's it. You don't even have to create a different memory. You can just say that thing never happened. That's it, period. If it helps, you can create a different memory to replace that one whatever is easiest for you. So with that being said, I trust that this video gave you the guidance that you needed. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up because I know you loved it. I hope you have an amazing day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye everyone.